So this is not the typical mass transfer course. Actually, what we are doing is only covering the theoretical basis of mass transfer operations. So you can find these typically in a university college as a mass transfer operations one course in which you will cover first maybe mass transfer concepts from mass transfer phenomena, then directly go to gas absorption, sometimes simple distillation and flash distillation. Be consider yourself lucky if your university covers this, because typically after gas absorption, you will see binary distillation and you will see some theoretical concepts on multiple components distillation, not that much into liquid liquid extraction, solid separations and membranes. This is not that common, but sometimes you can find it in a mass transfer operations one course. Now, mass transfer operations two course will be more commonly for a master degree. This is for bachelor degree, but sometimes I've seen universities that cover this. Maybe they want to have a extra in the mass transfer operation parts, which will be great. Always it's great to have more preparation than other engineers. For instance, in this MTO2 course, you will find multi-component distillation. You will get to the actual calculation and designs, how to work with distillations and its sequencing, asiotropic distillation, membrane separations, uh, drying and solid separations as well. Now, mass transfer can be found in other universities or courses or topics, subjects related to this as follows. Mass transfer unit operations, mass transfer operations, separation techniques, modern separation techniques, design and selection of separation processes, novel separation technologies, advanced separation processes, advanced engineering separations, and of course there are a lot. These are the ones that I have encountered typically whenever I'm searching for a curriculum on a university, how mass transfer is taught. Well, I've seen a lot of topics, but the most common ones are these. Remember guys, this is exactly the same. We're talking about mass transfer operations. So I prefer to use the concept mass transfer operations because we have been working with momentum transfer operations, heat transfer operations, and why not use the same mass transfer operations. So probably you're wondering why do we have this type of uh, subjects or courses? Well, the problem, as stated before, mass transfer operations are more complex, much more complex than momentum and heat transfer. Actually, you can imagine mass transfer will include typically also agitation or mixing, which of course is not the scope of these courses. Typically, the main scope is separation technologies. So that's why you will typically see separation techniques or processes or advanced, the concept of advanced is also for mass, uh, for a master degree and so on. What you will typically see also is that solids or mechanical physical separations are offered in other subjects or courses, not typically added in a mass transfer course, even though some of such uh, processes are technically speaking mass transfer uh, operations. Anyways, guys, I just wanted to verify this with you. Maybe you have a course which is related to separation technologies and you're wondering if this mass transfer course is a good fit. Well, I'm pretty sure it is.